Hey everyone, this is Mary Demuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray you through the Bible verse by verse. This is sponsored by Outrageous Grace Every Day, which is a 90-day devotional through the Book of Romans. And as I've mentioned earlier, um, I actually read the Book of Romans for 90 days before I started writing that book. So every single day, it took me about 44 to 45 minutes, depending on how fast I was reading. I printed it off on a piece of paper, or several pieces of paper actually, stapled them together, and I began to just go through the scripture every single day and underlining and marking and and it was based on that that I went ahead and wrote that book and so um, be a great gift for Christmas uh, definitely and uh, it would be um, for anyone who really wants to study the book of Romans in a kind of a conversational way so anyway that's who's brought uh, brought you pray every day today and we are in Romans 1 verses 26 through 32 we're finishing off chapter 1 in the ERV the easy to read version and it says this because people did those things God left them and let them do the shameful things they wanted to do Women stopped having natural sex with men and started having sex with other women. In the same way, men stopped having natural sex with women and began wanting each other all the time. Men did shameful things with other men, and in their bodies they received the punishment for those wrongs. People did not think it was important to have a true knowledge of God, so God left them and allowed them to have their own worthless thinking. And so, they did what they should not do. They are filled with every kind of sin, evil, greed, and hatred. They are full of jealousy, murder, fighting, lying, and thinking the worst things about each other. They gossip and say evil things about each other. They hate God. They are rude, proud, and brag about themselves. They invent new ways of doing evil. They don't obey their parents. They are foolish. They don't keep their promises, and they show no kindness or mercy to others. They know God's law says that anyone who lives like that should die, but they not only continue to do these things themselves, but they also encourage others who do them. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, thank you for this passage, and thank you for the Word of God. It is living and active, able to divide between soul and spirit, able to help us understand the motivations of our hearts, help us to see um, what it is that is your standard and what it means to live in community in a way that blesses others. Lord, we do pray that in our hearts and in our minds, our sexual lives would be pure, that um, we would not be led astray by the world's ideas of what is appropriate and what is not appropriate. And Lord, we pray, um, I pray specifically right now for those trapped in the addiction of pornography um, who have been viewing images that do not show uh, marital love and the the beauty of that, but that are degrading and um, do not take into mind that each human being, even those on the screen, are made in the image of God. Lord Jesus, I boldly ask that you would deliver those who are enslaved to that particular evil, that you would deliver them right now as I'm praying. I pray that um, that they would replace that with you and uh, that they would find hope in you. Lord, it, it, these verses and these words are so hard to read, but we see them every single day living in our culture. Um, when people have been given over when you have given them over to just do whatever they want, all sorts of bad things happen. And this list is a hard one to read. Lord, let us read this list with a mirror in front of us to see where we have fallen short and to beg you for mercy and forgiveness. When we have had evil, greed, hatred, jealousy, murder in our hearts, fighting with others, lying to people we love, thinking the worst things about each other, gossiping, saying evil things, hating you, being rude, being proud, bragging about ourselves, inventing ways of doing evil, not obeying our parents, becoming foolish, don't not keeping our promises, not showing kindness or mercy to others. Um, and then encouraging others to do the same. Lord, deliver us, forgive us, free us from our connection to this kind of sin. All of these sins listed are relational sins. They harm other people and they tear apart the body of Christ. And so Lord, as we go into a season where we're gonna be around a whole bunch of people, (laughs) 
Help us to keep this in mind. Help us to love our enemies who exemplify these things, but also help us to look in the mirror and not to become like this, full of jealousy, rage, bitterness, and gossip. Lord, deliver us, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. You can go to patreon.com forward slash pray every day and give um, Pray Every Day a Christmas gift by sponsoring it. There's different levels. You get a free painting every month if you're at the $5 level, a free podcast at the $20 level that no one else gets. Um, Also, if you want to help celebrate the second year anniversary of Pray Every Day, you can give a testimony by going to marydemuth.com, D-E-M-U-T-H, and there's a little microphone there. Pull up that microphone or click it and it will um, record a recording and it will go directly to me and then I'll send it to William and we're going to make an amazing thing. And then after that, on February 2nd, something really exciting is going to happen. So uh, stay with us and be uh, feel free to share this podcast with those who may need encouragement. I just found out about a friend who had a friend who was hurting and she sent uh, her this podcast and that just really blesses me because I know that friend will be being prayed for every day of this year. 